Hello everyone. I wanted to do a follow-up video on the last um, fatal video because uh, uh, few few people were asking questions about the design and, and, and many other things. One of them actually is this thing. Why did I make uh, such a weird looking uh, port here? Uh, usually they're just straight tubes without any thought to it and, and, and they do their job kind of okay. Uh, however, there's an interesting res research paper that um, uh, like airflow in the ports um, because there's um, uh, like a airflow going this direction uh, airflow is kind of uh, lagging behind on the surfaces and there's like a thing called boundary, boundary layer those who uh, study some 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 uh, um, flow flow engineering and, and, and things like that they'll actually know what what this is however it's actually impeding the airflow and 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 um, here you can see they have realized that actually uh, when when it's quite long the path there's like a kind of phase reversal or something uh, and the thing is that um, when you make this shape uh, the flow is called uh, it's fl flow is becoming in uh, laminar as, as they say um, because in the, in the straight tube there's a turbulence and uh, like Okay, I'll I'll do a quick drawing just to show you an idea. Okay, let's say this is some kind of tube. I mean port. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Let's do a section here. So yeah, if the uh, air is traveling in these directions, like back and forth as in, as in port, uh, because there's a sudden abrupt, abrupt change in pressure here in the corners, kind of like entrance and exit at the same time, um, uh, the flow of air is 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 uh, kind of not changing direction, but because of the uh, pressure differences, it starts to whirl in on when when it's going out, it's whirling here, also anywhere here, and and when it's going in, it's going it's whirling here. So it creates some kind of um, uh, resistance. I'm not a flow engineer. I, I can't tell you like in a details, but like idea is that that the um, flow is, is becoming turbulent and all these like boundary layers and everything so like your uh, kind of like a actual cross section becomes smaller and, and um, flow itself uh, um, becomes distorted and, and uh, creates a lot of uh, acoustic distortions that uh, some people call like uh, pore chuffing and there's other names for that but it's quite audible uh, once you make port like this, mm, it's kind of uh, the uh, narrowest section is is actually the uh, effective uh, cross section of the port, and 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 it's uh, going just larger. So effective port uh, diameter here is uh, I think two centimeters. Let me check that. Mm. Well, roughly about two two centimeters in diameter. Uh, so um, once once you get like uh, larger ends and and there's uh, uh, people who make like flanged edge, it's kind of the same thing. It's only like bigger. Uh, so air pressure and airflow is gradually directed like this towards the narrowest section. So uh, there's there isn't 
like a abrupt change of of pressure and 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 air direction so it doesn't make like a tur turbulent flow here or somewhere here it's 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 more gradual so uh effectively you get uh better port performance uh you get like like really really uh lower distortions and my colleagues from from 3s have measured their uh, double 18 inch subwoofers and and once they actually performed uh measurements and and, and everything uh with the distortions and, and, and spls and um they realize that they're not m making like traditional ports anymore and that's like final so they redid all their double 18 inch uh, subwoofers to laminar flow and they realized that they um effective uh, port resonance is uh, up by six uh, decibels you can imagine that's like uh, what four times the power like uh, i mean ampl amplifier power six decibels and uh, audible uh, distortions were down something like 30 percent so there's like a massive improvement just changing uh, this shape yeah it, it takes a lot more uh, area it, it it could be like um i mean it could be like a really small hole here instead it's like a bigger bigger hole on 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 both sides so it takes a lot more surface area however um it's like one of the downsides but um on upside you get like uh, 8 dbs uh, not 8 uh, so sorry 6 dbs more pressure out of port and lower distortion so uh you can actually read um this um he, he here's the I, w I will put it in description don't worry um there's a research paper uh that goes like into details about uh air flows and 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 what not about this 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 thing um yeah there's 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 a lot of and here is here's actually the formula that that you need to know uh once once you read through all the paper you will realize that that this this is best like uh like 0 0.5 in 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 real world scenarios you can you can play around with it and and, and you will see how it will change what 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 will be better with what the uh, SPLs that you're driving so but just just read the paper don't worry uh so yeah this that's one of the things why why i did this uh type of of port and and if if you're making it li like a uh, wooden cabinets and and, and, and or, or plywood or, or mdf or whatever so it will be uh harder to make these type of ports however um for example genelec is making also kind of like a laminar flow ports and and uh, l acoustics have their uh elements i believe it wasn't like their their name but this is the same thing there they're just making the flow laminar so um yeah what i wanted to say just forgot okay um yeah, this is this is one of the things. So if 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 I'm a uh, 3D printing uh, enclosure, it's not a problem for me uh, to actually print something like this. If you're woodworking, it's 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 a lot harder. However, my colleagues uh, have figured out how to make it with plywood, and and they're working like really really great. And there's like no problems with it, and and performance is just just super. Um, so yeah, uh, read up the paper and i hope that this will shed some some new information for those who were asking about what what this thing is and and and, and why did i do it like this so uh, actually i'm uh, since i'm uh, printing all of my enclosures in in in, in one piece um i make uh, all my enclosures if if they're ported at all uh ported like this with the laminar flow ports so um it's 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 a question if you drive them so hard that you need them at all um however you can always do them and don't worry about it um 
Yeah, that's probably all. Few people were asking for STLs. I will actually make these and and uh, put in the Thingiverse so so everyone can download and and print them out. Um, about printing, I did them um, uh, facing flat on on this surface here uh, on the bed. So you will need um, support for this surface and uh, port one. Um, I was thinking about uh, maybe putting this on the bed. However, I realized that um, it's not really um, e more easier than, than, than putting this here. So I just left it like that and... and, and, and uh, just beware that you might have some air leaks around around this area here because uh um angle is is is, is quite steep up here and uh, uh like depending on your or sli uh on your mm, slicing settings you might need uh, at, at least the software could recommend uh, um uh, supports also here, but uh, I did skip them, and 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 just they were fine. There was a couple of air leaks, but uh, since I sealed the inside with with varnish, it's not a problem anymore. So um, yeah, check out the STLs. Like if you like it, dislike if you disliked it, then maybe subscribe or do other things. I don't know comment, ask questions, I'll try to answer them as, as clearly as uh, I can mm, answer them. En uh, English isn't, isn't my first language, so sorry about uh, not being very fluent <laughs> about it, but, but uh, I try to do my best and, and, and share, share my knowledge and information and be honest about what I know and what I don't know. So, yeah, see you later. Bye.